Hello there, fellow space captains. This is Connor, and welcome to Star Wars Empire War Remake by Geronimo. Uh, my favourite modder, more or less because his ships get me excited. Not that they're original, some of them are, but just because he puts so much time and detail and effort into each model that it, um, I like it. Not only are the models beautiful, but also the effects. And generally, he's just made Empire at War to this point be like a, a sequel. It still has crashes, it's still in early stages, but um, at least it's something I can play offline and not struggle through. Because BT are schmucks. And I should be able to. Uh, where's my research center? The research facility? So we can get to the next era. But yes, I've just started up a quick Empire War remake game here. Because. Same problems are here. Same problems I've been having with BT for the past couple of weeks are, well, obviously still here, otherwise I wouldn't be making this video. And the problems are thus. Let me just bring out Palpy. I'll sheave on over here. Oh, he won't go. Why won't you go? Why won't you go, Sheevy? Uh, bring a few of these scout backs as well. ADST. Um. Vader, you can go as well as the Invasion Force. Uh, bring all the ground forces from Kuat over to Corellia. Begin the ground invasion. I <laughs> only lost a lot of men. <laughs> but if uh, the Empire aren't anything, or if they are anything, they're good at throwing fodder at the enemy. Uh, what do I want here? A research facility? No, 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 no. Um, because I do need some defences, I'll get a barracks at least. I'm looking to advance to the next era. I didn't put my starting research knowledge at 5 because I like experimenting with the lower tier ships. Seeing how they perform. And then of course I rise through the eras and then get more powerful ships. Uh, but I've got a few of these Procurister um, that I want to build. Just increase my command cap as well. But do I want them? I can also get victories. Uh, let's get a couple of victories away. The bloody hell not. I mean, victories can deploy fighters, bombers, whereas the Procurister is just all about the guns. Alright, now we want Vader in our fleet, because Vader. Darth Vader. And we've got a small fleet of gladiators. Some of these uh, vigils, and uh, what are they? They're the, uh, what do you call them, custom corvettes, I think? Customs, like, yeah, defending Coruscant, which is a massive fleet, totally deserving of the defense of the capital of the Empire. But, alas, we work with what we've got in front of us. Um, yep, yeah. I haven't been attacked by the Rebellion in a while, which goes to show why I've got so many credits at the moment, and how I've got so few... Mining, little area, facility things. Uh, we've got one victory. We should be able to take on Coriolagar. Now let's bring in Vader first. I'm not sure if he's in his Star Destroyer. He's definitely not in his Super Star Destroyer. I believe Geronimo, the modder, is just working on it at the moment. Looks gorgeous. Some of the progress he's made are... This is pretty damn impressive, if you want to check it out. Oh, he's in his TIE Advanced. Good, I like the TIE Advanced. Here we are, and I have been messing around with the scale of the fighters, because I like them to be accurate. Now, with... These vagrants stand in our way. Eliminate them to prepare for our land invasion. Thanks, Steve Bloom. Um, with the amount of detail and effort going in to Geronimo's ships, the fighters being to their scale cannon size can... Be a bit confusing because it's hard to actually keep an eye on them. Which I understand is why the just vanilla Empire War had the fighters being massive, almost Corvette size. Um, but yeah, we've got the Procurister here, which is it's like a tiny Star Destroyer. A lot of guns, hasn't got any hangar to speak of. Probably has some small hangars uh, for ferrying officers and uh, crew off and onto the ship. But we've got the Victory and the Gladiators for that. So here we are. We've also got a IEC. Was that from Rogue Squadron? I remember playing it on the GameCube. I think that's where it made its first appearance. 
Imperial Escort Carrier used exclusively by the Imperial Storm Commandos because of its cost. The Escort Carrier is an extremely effective but expensive frigate hunter. And it carries droid fighters, I think. Hey, hunters. Uh, I can't remember. Here we are. Starting to spam at the fighters. Get ourselves some of these little vigils here. I love the design of the vigil. I'm going to leave. The other little, um... Brigades. Do another battle. So, here we are. Now, the fighters and bombers, you can barely see them because the mops in this tend to be a really, really dark. Which is actually nice. I mean, it's more realistic than just the map being massively bright. But you can see, I have scaled down the size of the fighters. We're so far just the Rebellion and the Empire. I haven't done all of them, just the ones I can call in the game. So I can actually keep an eye on them. But it, it looks nice. I don't think I've added a Vader. I can't find his XML file. So if anybody does know where that is, uh, it would be a massive help. You let me know. Yeah. I haven't actually went out of my way to look for it, but I can remember... Uh, I mean, I'm not a modder. I'm not. I just know some general ins and outs of them um, editing unit statistics, that type of thing. But I've never been able to find the heroes. Because Vader, he's a ground unit and he can, of course, use his TIE Advanced and a squadron of TIE Fighters in space. I've never been able to figure out where his file is that I can edit for the actual space combat or his space um, units. I mean, look, the, there's the TIE Fighters, normal ones. They're half the size of the TIEs escorting Darth Vader. Okay, let's move towards the station. I think there was only a couple of transports. Oh, look at this little thing. I'm not sure if this is one of the unique designs, or uh, original designs from Geronimo. I, I'm not sure, you see. I used to think the Gladiator was. I mean, I, I didn't actually think the Gladiator was um, an original design. I just got confused between this and another ship. Uh, but I made the error of pointing out in one of my videos for Empire at War Remake that this was one of Geronimo's original designs and it's been around for a while. But there is another, I think he's actually the Procurister, I'm not, I think that might be one of his. But I'm not entirely sure because there are a couple of ships for the Mandalorians and the Empire that he has created himself. I think the, I'm not sure if this is from the um, Old Republic of War mod. But I remember the Mandalorians have some sort of superiority fighter. It just looks like a modern um, fighter from our Earth. I mean, look at the explosion. Oh, it's gorgeous. Every individual turbo laser battery moves, pivots. I've made this video like 10 times just gushing on this mod. I love it. It's a bit of a pain in the ass how it continues to crash. But again, it's a mod. It's nowhere near finished, so you do expect some of these things. Oh, a Procurister. Yeah, it looks pretty damn intimidating here at the moment, being the largest ship I have in my fleet. Let's see whenever I get the Imperial Star Destroyers, the Bellator. Oh, <laughs> that thing ain't gonna... Oh wow, it's taking some damage. Okay, increased damage my primary battery does. Uh, Sensor ping. Oh, hold on, are they firing? Oh, they're not transports, they're fucking Corvettes, damn it. I was wondering there for a second. I mean, look how slow the turn and everything. Oh, it's it doesn't feel like the arcade experience. Well, it does. Oh, I forgot about my victory. So let's just read what this does. Overcharge the Star Destroyer's primary weapons for a short duration, making them fire faster. And of course, the victory fires rockets or missiles. <laughs> well, this variant of the victory anyway. It's got the wings, you see, like the S foils. Nice. Oh, I love how they actually turn on their side as well. So they can get all turbo laser batteries 
on an angle to attack. It's oh my god, so many small details. And no melee that's going to crush. And I've scaled down the high feathers and the axe wings, as well as the Y wings. You can see there, but um, you see the Imperial ships are easier to decrease in scale. If you know how to add an axe ML, you'll know why. Because he uses different uh, numbers for different factions, and the Republic, or not the Republic, well, kinda. The Rebellion are a bit iffy. It's easier to edit the Imperials. Hey, Bombers on a bombing run there. Hey, Star Wars Battlefront 2. It's a mediocre game. Mediocre game because it was designed around loot boxes. And that's no way to make a game. You make a game to be enjoyable. And that's it. Basically, what is a game? It's something you do in your spare time to have fun, to enjoy, to get pleasure from. And spending obscene amounts of money on crystals, or whatever you want to call them in Star Wars Battlefront 2. I know you can't do it at the moment. They've disabled that load of nonsense. Shouldn't have been in the game to, to begin with. Um, but... Yeah, the space battles are the only part I really enjoy. And the space battles, when you the more you play it, you realise how hollow they are. The games don't really last that long. And um, there's not a wide selection at your disposable or, or at your disposal to play with. It'd be nice to have dice. Well, not really dice. Uh, it would be nice to have some third-party company make a uh, frostbite Star Wars space game, kind of like maybe I don't know, um, Elite Dangerous, where you can start off as like a bounty hunter, or um, I don't know, some sort of mercenary. Get your own little ship. Go around doing different odd jobs for. Uh, different people and crime organizations, empire, you know, the rebellion. Kind of like TIE Fighter, only it's Frost the Freelancer. That was a game that was out quite a few years ago that I really enjoy. Came from the same guy that's making, uh, what do you call it? Star Citizen, I believe. Yeah, that was Tekken. Oh my god, until he's is attacking our ability of Corellia. Oh crap, so let's go and engage him. Come over, get. He's buggered off. Only place he could be is Koyulag. I was right. Let's engage him and, uh... Show him what he gets for messing with the Isle Empire, huh? Probably gonna destroy me here. I don't know how many ships he's got. I'm hoping to overwhelm him just with better superiority. Did I call in a second victory? I did. Good, 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 good. Come on, there we go. I'm actually just gonna save it just in case it crashes because it tends to do that quite a bit. I'm going to call on our Procurister in the back. He's going to be the Hammer. The Victory's going to be the Anvil. They can take the damage. I mean, Victories aren't that bad either on their own, I suppose. Never called in just towards the end of the Clone Wars. They replaced the Venator. We'll call on the Wii. Break it at the back here as well. Oh, there he is. Alright, Remus. Remus and Tilly's. Yeah. Increase fire. Both victories can do the same. One of the design of the Tie Hunters. It is Tie Hunters, isn't it? It is. Tie Hunters are cool. Right, we got some Tie Bombers. Tie Bombers with some Y Wings here. On the outskirts of the battle. Probably going to try and get around and attack one of my gladiators or. Victories from the side or back. Look at that as well. Look at the little cloud of smoke after the turbolaser fires. Oh! Just hiccup there as I got excited. You don't want to be doing that? Oh, wow. They've got a lot of Corvettes coming in. Yeah, I think these are Thai Scouts. No, they're Thai Fighters. Um. These Thai Bombers, please. Thai Bombers, I keep getting that, um, making that mistake. It's freaking Y Wings, goddammit. Well, it seemed they had a lot of Corellian Corvettes. Not really a threat against what I brought into the battle here. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Ready for 
I like the feel that's returning to its hangar to rearm, refuel before it buggers off back out to destroy some rebel scum. Oh, this mod. Look at that. Say candy. That's all it is. And I love it. Right, how's Isle Vader doing? You alright, Vader? Bye. Always seems to be having fun. One squadron of Y Wings down. One more to take down. Uh, you know what? I'm going to move the fleet forward here. Attack move. Or you know what, actually? I know, actually, att attack moves. No, I'll just get them manually attack that station, get it out of the game. How's that until he's doing? Ah, he's alright. One Vader. Several spiders have broken off from the main group. Come with me. Okay. Bombers Say bombers, you can just do your own thing. Navigating to coordinate. Hold on. Um, where's my little frigates? Uh, where are you, dude? Please don't... Oh, there he is. Oh, thank you. Oh, he's getting wiped out, though. Got multiple rebel corvettes firing at him. Is that not gorgeous? <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be such a an in-depth video. Sorry guys, haven't got the internet. Can't uh, record some Dreadnought Fractured Space or something else like that there. So, so here's some more Star Wars Empire War remake because I love it. <laughs> uh, most of the time I'm just sitting here swinging over the game itself with the mod. Peter, would you do something, you fucking geriatric fuck? Are these? Oh, hold on, Vigil. I need to get my gladiators. I love the gladiators. Check down these guys. Check down those Corvettes, please. You can't miss them. They're glowing red for whatever reason. I have no idea why. They've got a death wish. Wait, so hold on. Did he just take down my wee frigate? Oh my god, they did. Okay, we've got more... Axe wings and Y wings. I mean, and oh, okay, so they're attacking me. Okay. Get the victories to focus on that. Where's the Procurister? He's all the way back. What are you doing all the way back? Right, get you in there and attack on Tilly's, please. Bruce Raider fire to the guns. <laughs> How are you guys getting your ass handed to you? Oh, Y wings, that, that would be way. Why? Why wings? Simple. Right, take down those damn Y wings, please. Little vigils, do your job. Do it well. Look at these things go. And yes, even the small ships have their own little individual turrets and gun emplacements, which pivot and rotate to find their target. And of course, the ship is turning as well, just so we can have all guns on the target that I designated, I think. Or maybe not, because it... Oh yes, he was a totally attack Y-Wings. Those Y-Wings must have been wiped out. Gladiator, I don't know, what are you doing? Being strafed by axe wings. Vader. Finish those axe wings, please, bud. Maybe I'll get you a new breather for Christmas. Come on, it hasn't got much left in it. Oh, even the wee ships have so much detail. Reminds me of that one Clone Wars episode where they turn the Venator on its side. And launch the fighters from the 
bottom hanger as a surprise attack. Oh, that was pretty damn cool episode. I think they were going against, was it Trench? Admiral Trench, the big spider dude. Right, all forces focus on the wing wing. Start cleaning up those fighters too, please. Brilliant Corvettes. Well, I think, yeah, Antilles is dead. The good thing about the Empire is if you even get all of your fighters and bombers wiped out in a, in a game, as long as you've got your larger ships that carry them, as long as they survive, you can call them in in the next battle. Oh my god, three gladiators. Well, that was a waste of fucking credits there. Oh god. Um, How's the research going? There we go. But I'm going to leave it there anyway, guys. I'm going to see... There's got to be a way to improve the connection with BT. I mean, I'm only one little insignificant person, and BT is this massive conglomerate. Um, But come on, it's beyond the joke now. Engineer came out last Friday to sort the problem, but she ended up finding another issue on the phone line. So the phones weren't working properly either. So instead of checking the internet, she decided to fix the phone, Went out to the exchange to try and fix the issue. Didn't come back. Oh, BT. BT and EA. Double dicks. If you want to support me in the channel, guys, you can do so on Patreon. Uh, the link is in the description below. But if you'd rather not be stuck to Patreon per month, or, well, on a monthly basis, then you can make a one-time donation through PayPal. The link is also in the description below. And uh, thank you all very much for watching. Enjoy whatever it is you guys are playing, whether it be in space or otherwise. And uh, of course, like always, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, folks.